Welcome back. Let's begin with the absolute basics. It all starts with the chessboard. A checkered board of 64 squares on which everything happens. Okay, so if you have a physical chessboard in front of you, open it up. If not, you can look at this video, follow what I'm saying. All right, so if you look at this particular uh, chessboard, it has 64 squares. Question for you, how many black and how many white? Yes, it's quite simple. It's exactly half the number is black and half the number is white, which means 32 black squares, 32 white squares. Put together is what forms the chessboard. Now there are patterns within this. For example, a vertical line which runs up to down the way I've marked it with the green arrow is called a file. Okay, and there are eight files on a chessboard which are named A, B, C, D, the alphabets from A to H. Okay. And you also have lines which are horizontal in nature, which are called ranks in chess. And these ranks are named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1 being the bottommost and 8 being the topmost. All right. In addition, we also have um, something called the diagonals. So each one of them is a diagonal. Okay, so as you can see, diagonals have a pattern where they all run on the same color. Okay, so every single square in a diagonal is going to be of the same color. Ranks and files are slightly different. This is what the chessboard is about. But just knowing about the chessboard is not going to help. We need something dynamic to happen on the chessboard. And for that, we have six different types of pieces. The first and foremost, the most important piece out there is the king. Okay, there are many, many names for it, but the, the terminology we use in chess is king and it's represented with the letter capital K. Next comes the queen. Okay, the queen is the one which has the five fingers, the four fingers on the crown. This is your queen, indicated with the letter capital Q. Next comes the rook. Okay. And rook is indicated with the capital letter R. Then comes, let's say, bishop. Then comes the bishop, which is capital B. And knight, which is not capital K because king has already taken that. So knight is capital N. And last but not the least, we have the pawns. So these are the six pieces, which is there both with black and with white. And what we need to learn is about every single piece, how they move, how they capture, how they attack, how they control. This is going to be what we'll be doing in the future videos. A couple of simple things that you need to remember. A single piece has to be inside a single square. A piece cannot be in between two different squares. It's not allowed. It cannot be in between four different squares. It's not allowed. A piece needs to be inside a square. Second, you cannot have two pieces, one on top of the other, one next to the other, in a single square. These are the two fundamental rules about placing the pieces on the chessboard. And as we go along, we keep adding up more number of rules, which you would get a hang of. Okay, so this is the absolute basics, the board and the pieces. Okay, um, very quickly. If you have followed this and if you understood the very basics, please type in, in the comment, comment section saying, I get the basics. Step one has been cleared. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video where we will start off with the first piece, which is the rook. Thank you.